Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another playthrough in the uh, Parallel Investigator Dream Eaters campaign playthrough. And this time we are playing the scenario 2A, uh, the search for Kadat with Parallel Skits O'Toole. And last time we got plenty of experience to upgrade Skits' deck. So let's first hop over to arkhamcdb.com and see what kind of upgrades I did to the deck. Okay, and we are over on arkhamcdb.com and uh, the upgrades I did to Skits' deck are not many different cards, but uh, the main upgrade was uh, getting the black fan into the deck because Skits uh, generates a ton load of resources. This seems like a really good card for Skid, so with 10 plus resources you get plus 1 health and plus 1 sanity. Uh, not that interesting yet, but uh, 15 plus resources, you may take one additional action during your turn, so this is the big one. Uh, and the next one is also really powerful, uh, 20 plus resources, you get plus 1 to each of your skills. So with this, if I can accumulate enough resources, which should be easy with Skid's, uh, skits will become a real powerhouse. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, next, uh, I upgraded one of the money talks into money talk level 2. And uh, because skits uh, is parallel skits, we don't have to remove the uh, lower version money talk. So I still have two copies of money talks level uh, 0 in the deck. So I have three money talks. And the uh, goal is to upgrade uh, another one with the experience we get from this, then of course Luckies will have the same treatment, so looking forward to that. And uh, lastly, uh, with the one experience I got, uh, I removed one of the lockpicks for the black fan and upgraded the other to level 1. So now we don't risk of losing the lockpicks uh, if we fail an investigation check. Uh, we are a bit um, low in hand slot, so Thief Skits and Lockpicks will probably take the one hand and the Black Fan the other, or the Hyper Physical Shotcaster will take the other one if we don't draw the Black Fan. But we'll see how that goes. Other than that, um, the deck remains the same, and we hope to get enough resources to do good upgrades before going to the next scenario, but we'll see how this goes. So let's hop back over to the scenario. So we are set up here in Altar. So uh, we have the Altar, Skull, River and Diala Thaline uh, locations in play. And we have the other locations we can travel to here. And we can then pick uh, where we travel once we get to the uh, port location here. So. Uh, we also start with Virtual Grey, and uh, we have the pack of units here, so it is a swarming one, so we'll still uh, shuffle the deck and put one card underneath there, so we have set up correctly. So, swarming one, so we put one card underneath here, hoping that's not the black fan, but we'll see. And that is basically everything. Uh, Nothing else to say, but uh, we'll see how this goes, and let's get started. We are ready to start, but uh, one thing I want to say that during when we travel, those happen between turns. So I will do the setup for the new location between turns to save a bit of time on the video. So, uh, okay, well... Uh, Talking about the intro of this scenario, we managed to get one uh, evidence of Kadath onto our campaign log uh, because we went to talk into the uh, uh, church or monastery or whatever that was and uh, got one from there and uh, that is basically it. Uh, we'll start by drawing our opening hand. We get Faustian Bargain, Hit Me, Lone Wolf, Hit Me, and Lucky. Uh, I will drop these, keep the Lone Wolf, and hope for better cards to play immediately. So, four cards Thieves Kit, Faustian Bargain, 
unexpected courage and another lone wolf. So, uh, unfortunately, we didn't hit any uh, crew tech, which we really need. But uh, unfortunately, this uh, starting location has low shroud, and we probably can uh, skip uh, past the pack of units and uh, go to Duland Lean and maybe use the unexpected courage. No, uh, we actually have the thieves kit, so I think I'll pay that. Got I mulligan for that, uh, or, or hit that with the mulligan. Okay, so the deck is kind of shuffled already enough, so we'll place it here and start playing. So, uh, talking about virtual grave a bit, so after one or more uh, signs of the god are uncovered, either draw one card, gain one resource, or heal one horror from uh, with virtual grey. If there is uh, more than one investigator in the game, give control of virtual grey to another player. And if uh, virtual grey is defeated, remove him from the game. So we have don't have another investigator in the game, so that's uh, we don't have to care about the rest of the text. First action, I'll play the thief skit. Uh, so we get. Uh, it has six supplies on it. Second action, we will play Lone Wolf. Actually, before that, I will do the fast action to uh, should I do it? Mm. Well, I'll play the Lone Wolf. Then, uh, last action, we will investigate. So, investigating with the thief skip, we are investigating uh, four versus one. It is a skull. Skull is X. X is the number of sigils of the gods the investigators have uncovered, so it's zero. So, we grab this clue, we gain a resource. Uh, then I'll do the fast action to spend these two clues and I'll commit this to the test. So we are testing four versus two to uh, generate more resources. So... Oh yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, uh, we did the interlude between uh, after the one A and one B scenario, so we didn't remove any of the tablets and didn't add any of the uh, elder thing tokens to the back. Okay, so minus two. Uh, we pass with the help of Lone Wolf, so we double our resources. That's really good. Now, if we happen to hit... Well, <laughs> if we hit the weakness, we don't have five resources at this moment, but it is what it is. So, nothing else to do. We'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, another thieves kit, we really don't need that, and we gain a resource. So that is the first turn, let's go to the second turn. We... Uh, I just noticed I have these cards the wrong way. So we need two clues to be able to advance here. So... Oh yeah, and these are veiled, with, uh, so we could turn this around, but I know that I don't want to turn this altar location around because that just slows us down. So uh, we definitely will uh, turn that around when we don't have any clues on there. So we start by adding a Doom. First encounter card of the game is Law of Ugiroth. Uh, so Feral Hidden Revelation. So, uh, secretly add this card to your hand. You can play cards or commit cards to skill tests with an odd number of words in their title. And we can, as an action, discard this uh, with an even number of words in the title from your hand. So, we actually could do that with the Thieves Kit, but at this moment, all of our cards have even numbers on them, or even not amount of words, so we don't really care about that at this moment. So, first action, uh, we move to Sky River. This enemy engages us. We will just uh, evade it. Evading four versus... Oh yeah, and uh, we gain one resource 
from uh, Lone Wolf. So we will evade four versus one. Oh yeah, uh, while the pack of wounds has no attached swarm cards, it gets plus one fight and plus uh, plus two fight and plus two evade. So we really don't want to hit it. So we'll just evade and uh, four versus one. Uh, it is a cultist. We reveal another token. If this token is revealed during an investigation, and this skill just fails. Uh, increase that location shot by one for the remainder of the turn. Well, this is not an investigation. So uh, we get the skull, and skull was zero because we don't have an, any sigils yet. So this enemy is uh, evaded. Last action, we will move to here. And uh, when you attempt to leave Sky River, if it has not yet been flipped. Test willpower or agility to if you fail, flip this card over and resolve the text on the other side. So we try to move as our last action. Uh, we will test four versus two. So we get a minus two, so we pass, so we get to move away from here and we don't need to mind about the units anymore. And at the end of the round, I will gamble too with the fast ability and uh, let's risk it. So I will commit the unexpected courage to this test. So we are four, uh, six versus three. No, uh, we are testing base value of so five versus three. Cultist, reveal another token, and a skull, so nothing, uh, so zero, so we double the resources, so we are up to nine resources. I'm uh, changing some, so five, six, seven, eight, nine resources. Okay, that's great, so next turn we can... Uh, Investigate and uh, do something and advance. So we'll just check. So at the end of the round, investigators at both locations may spend the required number of uh, clues as a group to advance. So next round we can do that. So no enemy actions will go to upkeep. This guy readies. We'll draw a card. Hospital depths. So put hospital depths uh, into play in your threat area. Action move one resource from your resource pool. The hospital depths limits uh, twice per round. Uh, when the game ends, if hospital depths has fewer than six resources on it, you earn two fewer resources. On it. So I think that won't be a problem. Okay, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and we add a doom. Encounter card for this round is Anatol of Ugarot Chaos. Uh, so, secretly add this card to your hand. You cannot play cards or trigger abilities on player cards with an odd printed uh, resource cost. So, now the Thief's Kit is not usable. Uh, discard a player card with an even printed resource cost from your hand. Discard this card from your hand. Okay, well, first action will be to discard this by discarding the Faustian Bargain. Then I'll uh, move two resources onto Hospital Depths. And those are fast abilities, so next uh, we will uh, investigate with the Thieves' Kit. Uh, so I'm investigating four versus three. And another skull. And we get the clue, we get the resource. We'll do the skits ability now and with only two resources. So three versus two. And another skull. So remember there are three skulls in the back, so those skulls seem to be coming out nicely. So I'll just uh, Change these to a fiver, so we have 10 resources, 
that's nice. And uh, last action, I think I'll just discard this by discarding this. So discard a play card with an even number of words. So that thief's kit has two words, so that's good. And at the end of the round, well, we'll go to uh, enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, we draw money chalks, we gain a resource. Oh yeah, we forgot to gain the resource from the lone wolf, I think, so we'll add one more. And then we get to advance. So, uh, we advance to the sea. Uh, the investigators... So, uh, first off, uh, search and counter deck is your pile and wall, play areas for cats of altar and pack of units and each of card from the zooks and counter set and remove them from the game. Shuffle each set aside copy of priests of thousand mask into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. Investigators must decide, choose one, uh, visit the, do the Oriab setup, do the Menar setup or do the Forbidden Land setup or Timeless Realm setup. So. I think I'll start from the Forbidden Lands. So we go to this these locations. So uh, I'll do the mid game setup and upgrade the encounter deck according to the instructions. So now we have objective find and uncover us. Oh yeah, before we advance, we do the veil here. Sorry, I forgot. So. You have uncovered a sign of the gods, so place one resource in the scenario reference card to indicate this for the remainder of the scenario resource on this card refer uh, refer reference card. Scenario reference card represents uh, sigil uh, signs of the gods that the investigators have uncovered. Your quest is to uncover as many of these signs as you can in order to discover the location. Head out, flip this card back over. Okay, so we got one. Uh, I'll just put them on top of this. Okay, now, objective find and uncover as many signs of the guards in this region as you can. Uh, at the end of the... Oh, yeah. Where is the... Well, um... Well, we need to find those clues, but uh, I have to check the... Um, Bobbiden set up to find out which of these we put into play and we'll go over that in a second but that is that round let's go to that next round okay and uh, the act that we were <laughs> looking for was seek out the night so objective find us uncover as many signs of the gods in this region as you can at the end of the round if an investigator is at a port location you may move to another region by advancing this act uh, the objective, if the investigators have uncovered 10 skills of the gods, proceed to resolution 1. Okay, well, I have never gotten the 10. Oh yeah, and uh, we forgot to put one enemy into play. So we have the Stalking Manticore at the Forbidden Lands, and we have the Horde of Night. Just double checking, so... We put, put the Horde of Night enemy in the Sulan Tech. And we start in elect but so this enemy is over here this enemy is over here okay we'll have to figure out how to deal with those in a moment but uh, we st uh, we have shuffled the encounter the new cars into the encounter deck and uh, this card file also so we'll add a doom three of seven Encounter card is Hunt the Go Corsairs. Revelation of that's hunt hunted by Corsairs to the current act. When the act advances, each investigator takes two damage. At that, uh, at that attached act gains action test uh, intellect four to outwit the Corsairs or agility four to sneak past them if you succeed this card hunted by Corsairs. So we'll put that there as a reminder. Hold on, let's just put it behind here. Okay, well, first thing first, uh, we will be investigating using the thieves kit. I will investigate by 4 versus 2. 
while you are at the elect, reduce the cost of the first spell, ritual, or relic card you play it round by one. Will we don't have any of those in hand, but hopefully get some. Minus one. We'll grab this clue. We get to look at the veil side. So each investigator at elect blood kills two four and draws two cards. So I'll draw two cards. Leo de Luca and on the lamb. I think we want Leo in play. And flip this card back over. So, second action, we will play skits. Six resources. We get an extra action. That is really good. Oh yeah, and we got uh, one from Lone Wolf at the start of the round. We'll do Skitz's ability now, so we'll test uh, 3 versus 2. Do we want to? No. Not so crucial. Still have 5 resources. Okay, well, uh, Elder Sign. Plus 1, choose a level 2. Or less card in your discard pile, add those cards to your hand. At this point, I think we want the unexpected courage. And we succeed, so we get uh, two more resources. Then we will. Oh, yeah, and we got one resource from the thief skit succeeding. Then uh, we will go to the Forbidden Land, so this enemy engages us. Last action will evade uh, 4 versus 2. Minus 2. If you fail, uh, either take 1 damage and 1 horror, or place 1 doom on the current agenda. Well, we succeed, so this enemy is evaded. And that is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. So this guy readies and engages us again. We draw a car. Oh yeah, uh, we did this, of course. So we put two uh, resources on the hospital depths at some point. Uh, another Leo de Luca, well... Good to have a spare, I think. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We start by adding a Doom, so 4 of 7 encounter card this round is a Priest of Thousand Masks. So while the investigators have uncovered two or more sigils of the gods, Priest of Thousand Masks gets plus one fight and plus one evade. Uh, four or more sigil signs of the gods, Priest of Thousand Masks gets plus two health. Or six or more signs of the gods uh, gets uh, uh, plus one damage and gains retaliate. So this enemy spawns here and is engaged with us. Oh yeah, this is actually swarming one, so I'll just add one card here. Forgot to do that uh, earlier. Okay. So this uh, this uh, horde of night swarm cards cannot attack. Well, that's good. Horde of Night's host card cannot be defeated. If one would be defeated, except Horde of Night instead. Okay. Well, um, let's see. Uh, we definitely want to uh, evade the Stalking Manticore first. So, 4 versus 2. Minus 1. Evaded. We will evade the Priest of Thousand Masks. So, 4 versus 2. Minus 2. We evade that. Then uh, we'll do this action here. So, we have to test uh, Combat 1. Agility 2, and before that, oh yeah, we gained one from Lone Wolf, which I forget all the time. So we have a 10, so I think that's okay. 
So we'll start by testing the combat one. So we are uh, three versus one. So yeah, let's try it. So uh, three versus one. Minus two. So first obstacle cleared. So next four versus two. Minus two. So now I will commit unexpected courage to be four versus no. No, no, no. We'll go. We'll play the money talk. So we are testing uh, five versus three. We'll go seven versus three. Minus four. Good thing we committed the unexpected courage. So we get to flip this card over. Shuffle one set aside copy of Tenderos Night Count into the encounter deck. If able, flip this card back over and you have uncovered one. A sign of the gods, place one resource into the scenario reference card. So now this guy gets a boost, but we'll uh, leave this location before that happens. And. Uh, We'll draw a card with uh, Verge of Grey. Hits me, that's good. Get this card back over. Last action, we'll go here and uh, take some de hitting from this enemy. So this enemy engages us. And that is uh, our turn. Enemy phase. We'll spend uh, in the enemy's face uh, skits fast ability, so we are testing three versus one, and I'm only committing one resource, so not breaking up the fives here. So three versus one, minus one, we'll gain two resources, so we'll put those two resources onto the hospital depth to not have to worry about that anymore this game. Okay. And that guy hits us for one damage and one horror, and uh, we'll take it. And uh, remember that this um, um, swarming card doesn't hit. Okay, that is our turn. No enemy actions will go upkeep, or no, no more enemy actions rather. So we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, unexpected courage, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom, and count the card. So this round is. Another priest of thousand mask. Well, who shuffled this? Day? Well, I did, but apparently didn't do a good job. So we have this enemy now uh, again. Oh yeah, and uh, actually, let's back up. I forgot to shuffle Tenebros Night Count into the encounter deck, and uh, that may cause that we didn't get that enemy. So let's shovel. The encounter deck. Okay, and what did we get? Of course, it will be worse. Well, uh, Dreamland Eclipse put Dreamland Eclipse into play next to the agenda deck. When you initiate an investigation, you must either take one horror or your location gets plus two shroud for this investigation. At the end of the round, discard Dreamland Eclipse. Well, that is not that bad. Well, we didn't get an extra enemy, which is good. Uh, first action, we will evade the Horde of Night, and uh, remember that if we evade the host card, the, all the um, swarm cards are evaded also. So 4 versus 1, uh, minus 2, so this is evaded. Second action, we'll use the Thief's Kit to investigate, and I'm committing the Unexpected Courage test, and uh, we again forgot the Alone. No, we didn't. Uh, we had 10 and I have 11 now. Okay, well, 4 versus 1. No, um, 6 versus 4. So, minus 2. 
And I'll take a horror because I'm investigating, so why not? So we'll grab this clue, we get to check the revealed side, or the veiled side, so you have uncovered a sign of the gods. And I will draw a card. Uh, we get the hyperphysical shotcaster. Add Horde of Night to the Victor display. Well, that was sweet. So this returns here. And flip this card back over. And uh, then we have two more actions. So we'll move here. And last action. We will uh, play the hyperphysical shotcaster. And uh, I will do Skitz's ability again uh, with... Let's risk it with two. And I'll commit the, on the lamb for this, so... Yeah, five versus two. Minus one, so we double these resources, so I have... No, um, can't count. So we have four, nine total. And uh, we'll go to the enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep. We ready, draw the black fan, great, gain a resource. And then we get to advance, so... We'll take two damage for advancing. Because we didn't deal with the Corsairs. So, where to? I think I will next go to... Maybe... I'll go to Oriab next. So... First off, search and counter deck, discard file and all play areas for the Horde of Night and stalking nightmare enemies and remove them from the game. So we still get the victory point from the Horde of Night. Shuffle the encounter discard file into the encounter deck. Investigators must decide choose one, so we pick the Oriab. And we'll do the mid-game setup again between turns. So Okay, of course, this goes and this is removed. And nothing was added into the counter deck. So we'll just shuffle this. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and we did the mid game setup again. So we are at Oriob now. We start in Bahara. Uh, Baharna, and uh, we have Mount Granek, which has one Knight Rider's enemy uh, with Swarming 1 on it, and then Nameless Winds. So, let's start by adding a Doom. So, 6 of 7, Encounter Card is another Knight Rider, so Swarming 1. Well, lucky we have the Shotcaster, so we can at least kill these enemies. They are a bit hard to bait. Okay, well, uh, let, let's begin by killing this enemy. So we'll use the shotcaster using agility, shooting four versus two, and with the damage of one, minus one, this is defeated, or, or the swarm card on it is defeated. Second action, we will just kill it. So, shooting again. Oh yeah, Lone Wolf. Uh, we got a skull, so it's a minus two. But I forgot the Lone Wolf, so this is defeated. Third action. We will... Investigate. Investigating uh, 4 versus 2, 0, 
we get the clue, we get the resource, and uh, mm, we will take a bit of a risk here. I'm spending uh, three resources. Let's just uh, do it like this. So we're spending three resources on the Skits' own ability. And uh, we are testing 3 versus 3. So... Just double checking. Okay, we could possibly get that, so... 3 versus 3. Uh, it is a minus two, but I'll play this. So, hoping not it's not a skull. So, uh, minus two, but it is a plus two, so we succeed. We double these resources. So, I'm just doing this. We're at 15 resources. But, uh, last action, I will play the black fan removing the thief's kit I think it served its purpose so now we have plus one health and plus one sanity and when we have 15 we get an extra action and when we have 20 we will uh, have plus one to all of our stats so now we need to raise our wealth a bit so that is our whole turn, no enemy actions will... Oh yeah, we do this now. So each investigator at Bahara may return an item or supply card from their discard pile to their hand. Remember that the investigators have obtained supplies from Baharna. Flip this card back over. So I'm uh, first checking, do I have any supply cards? No, uh, what item card do I want? Well, not many choices, so I'll add uh, Return of Thieves kit into my hand. And we have obtained supplies from Baharna. Next, uh, we draw a card, lucky, we gain a resource. That is that round, let's go to the next round. We add another doom, so actually this advances. This is a really long scenario. And the setups take time. So, shuffle both set aside Corsair of laying enemies into the encounter deck, along with the encounter discard pile. Then, uh, we have nine uh, doom threshold now. So, one of those. And we have to put the Corsairs there also. Okay, well... Quick shuffle, and we are ready to draw our encounter card for this round. Okay. So... Uh, encounter card for this round is the law of Yugira, so chaos, so uh, you cannot play cards or trigger abilities on player cards with an odd printed uh, cost, so the black fan it, it doesn't have abilities that trigger, so it's just in use, so we don't have to mind this at this moment that's good but we can't play Lucky, so maybe we want to... I, uh, we can discard. First action, we'll uh, discard Leo de Luca from our hand to discard this, so it doesn't bother us. Second action, uh, we will 
move it to mount the granek. Okay, and this enemy engages us, so we will shoot it with the shotcaster. Actually, before that, I'll do. Uh, I'll just try to get to 15 resources to gain an extra action. So I'll actually mark this that we have uh, the first asterisk done. Minus two, so that's enough. So we are at 15 resources. Yeah, because I forgot to add the lone wolf again. 15 resources. So we get an extra action. Because we are this high with the, this now. So uh, we are using the shotcaster to fight uh, four versus four, uh, four versus two. And it is a skull, so minus two, so we beat the swarm. The fourth action, we uh, shoot again. Four versus two. Minus two. So this is defeated. Uh, last action of the round, we will try to investigate. Uh, three versus three. Minus one. We will play lucky. So we'll go up by one. We'll grab this clue. And uh, we put four resources because we spent one. Uh, we get to flip. So we have obtained the uh, uh, supplies from Baharna, so we don't have to do that action here. So we flip you, have uncovered a sign of the guards, place one resource on the scenario reference card, shuffle one set aside, then Nebro's night gun to the encounter deck if able to discard back over. So skulls are now minus threes. And we shuffle this enemy here. And we spent the lucky. And I think I will gain. Uh, I will draw a card. Postian bargain. Well, that's okay. We'll actually play that next round to go to 20 resources so that the Black Pan also boosts our stats up by one each. Okay, so that is our turn, no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we change this to 3 damage, so we draw a card, 21 or bust, and we gain a resource, so that this was not in active action, now it is back. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. And counter card for this round is uh, Wanderer's Lands. If there are no clues on your location, discard Wanderer's Land and it can search. We'll do that. Night Riders. Well, hello. Swarming one. That wasn't what I wanted to see at this moment. So they engage us, so we need to try and bait them, maybe. Okay, so we could punch them twice to... ...try and get rid of one of the swarm cards, so it's easier to bait. If we do that, so we punch. I am 3 versus 2. So, I think I'll go to 4 versus 2, committing the 21 or bust. 4 versus 2, it is enough, we deal 1 damage. Then 
Oh yeah, we gained one resource from Roadwolf again. Second action, four, uh, three versus two, launching. Uh, we will need... Do we have any punch symbols? No. Like, well, zero. Uh, we defeat the swarm card. Then we will evade. Do I want to play Forst and Bargain to have a plus one to this? So, maybe I do. So, I'll actually take one horror by letting it punch me by then play the Faustian Bargain. So we add two first tokens into the bag. Uh, we gain five resources. So now we are at 21 resources. So the Black Fan is fully loaded and we have plus one to each of our skills. So we are now evading uh, five versus two. Minus three. This enemy is evaded. We Let's see, punch, punch, uh, play, uh, evade, and move. Okay, that is our whole turn. Uh, if you end your turn at uh, the Nameless Ruins, uh, one ally card takes damage. Well, that can't be avoided, but it is what it is. So, that is our round. No enemy action will go upkeep. This enemy readies, we draw a card. Lucky, great. In a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay. Um, we add a doom. Two of nine. Encounter card is Song of the Mag Maga Bird. So that's to your location. After you move out of that, that's location. Take one horror, place one doom on the current agenda, and discard Ma Song of Maga Bird. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. Action test willpower or combat four. Drive away the birds. If you succeed, discard this. So that is a annoying one. Well, uh, it doesn't slow us down that much. We will. Do Skitz's ability by one. So uh, three versus one. Minus two, we'll gain one resource. Uh, first action is to play... So this discards, we'll play Thieves' Kids. Oh, damn. I'll pick that up later. Uh, second action is to investigate, and I'm investigating now uh, five versus five with the thieves kit. Um, minus two, but I will play lucky. So for a moment I'll drop down, but that's still enough. Yeah, so we'll get this clue. And uh, I have four Sources here now. Okay, so from now on we are down a bit with our stats, but that will change in a moment. Uh, we reveal this, so you have uncovered a sign of the gods. Place one resource on the scenario reference card. I'll actually do that and. Uh, we will gain a. We'll draw a car with uh, Virtual Grey. Not sure if I want to play Randolph. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll move and I'll take a horror and place one Doom. And then I will draw a card and play well connected.
Okay. That is my turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. Uh, we draw hit me, gain a resource. And we advance, so we lose all of our clues when we advance. And um, I think the last place we have time to go will be... Mm, uh, Mnar. So we'll go to Mnar. Where are the Monar locations there? So we'll travel to Monar and see what lies there. But we'll do the mid-game setup again uh, between turns. So that is that round. Let's go to Monar on the next round. Okay, and we are ready to continue. So we'll add a Doom 4 of 9 in front of our. So this round is Law of Migroth Pandemonium. So you cannot play cards of mid cards skill test with an odd number of words in the title discard a player card with an even number to discard this card so odd card we, we don't have any so we ignore that so we gain a resource from lone wolf we will do skits's ability with one resource so three versus one what to get to 20 elder sign uh, will return Level zero card. Money talks sounds good. And we get go to twenty resources now. <clears throat> First action. We will investigate. Uh, we are investigating five versus five the thieves. No, uh, we'll money talk here. We are investigating 10 versus 5. Minus 2, we pass easily. Grab this, we get to turn this around. You have uncovered one sign of the guards, place one resource here. Shove, control 1, set aside. Tender of Night Guard in enemy into the encounter deck if able, put this card back over. We have all of them in the encounter deck already, but we gain one sign of the guard, so five. I'm hoping to get six, and that should be good enough. Okay. Second action, we'll move here. Third action, we'll engage this enemy. We will punch this enemy. Uh, we are four versus... Oh, this is a jam. Fight four. Yeah, we will... Hold on. Uh, maybe we won't even engage this enemy. Oh, yeah. Uh, we recover the sign, so we'll actually heal a horror. Because we need to have soap for this, so I'm investigating here instead. Uh, investigating uh, 5 versus 1 plus 1. We grab this clue, we get to flip this. So re remember that the investigators know what happened to Ib. Flip this card back over. We'll move here. And yeah, we gain the one resource from the Ib's kit. Then we investigate here. That's our last action. Uh, minus two. Reveal another token. Minus four, uh, two, four in total. Uh, if you fail, either take one damage and put one, or and one horror, or place one doom on the current agenda. Uh, well. We Yeah, I, I have to put one Doom here. We try again next round. Well, enemy phase. This enemy hunts over here. Actually, mark it. But it's aloof, but still it hits. So, uh, during the enemy attack step of the enemy phase, instead of attacking its engaging investigator, being of it attacks each investigator at its location, so it ignores the... Uh, 
because even if it's a little bit hits a spot too far. So we take two over here. Can't hold on for many long turns more, but it is what it is, so. That's enemy phase, we'll draw a card. Well connected. I, I forgot I could use well connected. But next turn. Okay. Uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom 6 of 9. I think that this will be our last uh, location we are visiting, so we are not traveling. But we try to get this uh, location revealed. Then counter card is uh, Corsair of Leng, nearest city of surface location. Uh, city is here, so it spawns in the Gadar term, so that's okay because we are not. We are just resigning at the end of the round there. Okay, first action. We will use, uh, we'll gain a resource from Lone Wolf. We'll use Well Connected to investigate and, well, Thieves Kit to investigate 5 versus uh, 3, and then uh, Well Connected to the a million <laughs> over, so we are. Uh, plus four, so seven, uh, nine versus three. Skull is a minus five, that's okay, we still pass. We'll grab this clue, we get to reveal this. So, after you successfully investigate Sarnath by one or less, take one horror. So, we passed more. We were a five, nine, minus five. So we passed by... No. Actually, we take one horror. <laughs> Damn. Okay, we're one horror away from dying. But still, we pass, and we know what happened to him. You have uncovered a sign of the gods. I'll heal a horror. And we have six here now. That's, I think, enough. So with that and the one we got from the intro is 7, so <clears throat> that's I think plenty. So uh, flip this card back over. And uh, I don't have good ways to dealing with this uh, being of Eb. so next I will move here. I will try to evade this Corsair uh, by... I'll commit Randolph Carter to the chest. It has two words in the title. Words in the title, not the uh, resource cost. So we are 7 versus 5. Minus 2. It is evaded. Okay. Then uh, we have. Oh dear, that being of people will catch us. Okay, back up. I have to rethink this. So I will go back. So uh, we. Investigated. We haven't done anything else. So I will play Randolph Carter. This is just because I need to damage soak to survive the being of keep hitting me before we get to resign. So, then we'll move. Or we lose the extra action from Lord Luca. Last action, I'll try to evade. Evading 5 versus 5. Uh, minus 2. Uh, we will play... No. I'll just... Uh, I. Ah, yeah, well, I'll, I'll play it. So, I drop to 4 versus 5. Uh, 
And uh, now we need to... So we change the modifier to a plus if it's not a skull. And it is a minus two, so it's a... Uh, we still fail. So this enemy hits us with the alert keyword for one damage. Oh well. And uh, we draw two cards. Uh, we don't want to draw cards because we don't want to hit the. Uh, it doesn't. We'll just draw the cards. One, two. Okay. The beings of Eep move here. Uh, this enemy is not exhausted. Hits us for one damage. This uh, beings of hit Eep's uh, <laughs> hits us for two horror. So Randolph is defeated. But then we. get to uh, at the end of the round each investigator is at the so okay back up I forgot I need to resign so I just moved there and resigned that's it <laughs> yeah sorry I forgot it's not a travel it's a move well we could do one more turn and resign if we it doesn't look so. We'll actually uh, travel. So, search encounter the visible and all players for being of it and an enemy and remove it from the game. So that goes away. And uh, shuffle the encounter disc or file into the encounter deck. And the last players we can travel is to the timeless realm. And we do that setup in between turns so one more turn at least so okay we do the upkeep also we drew a car and gained a resource so we're back to 20. so that is that round let's go to the next round okay and uh, we add a doom encounter card for this round is corsair of length well that sucks but we can deal with that so I think first action is to evade, and I'm using well connected to evade. Oh yeah, for, uh, lone wolf we can resource. So uh, well connected evading nine versus five minus two. That enemy is evaded. We'll investigate with the thieves' kits. Uh, we are. 5 versus 2, minus 1, we grab this clue, we get to reveal this. Uh, remember that you have besieged the king. Shuffle 1, set aside a copy of Tenebro's Night Guard into the encounter deck. If able, we already have every one of those in, in there already. Uh, we'll move here and uh, I think we don't have... Yeah, we don't have... We have one more turn. Uh, no. Uh, if we get a Doom for some reason, that's game over. So we'll just resign last action. And that is the game, so... Let's see. Uh, we got this mo into the victory display. So we gain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 victory points. And uh, we resigned, and let's see the resolution. So, in your camp lock, uh, uh, so let's see. Before resolving any other resolution, if at least one investigator was defeated, no. So, if no resolution was reached because each investigator resigned, proceed to resolution one. So, we go to resolution one. Uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in victory display, and that is 8. For each sign of the gods, the investigators unveiled during this scenario record one tally mark next to the evidence of the gods in your camp log, and that is 6, so we have 7 evidence of the gods. In your camp log, record Virgil was captured, then a record Randolph eluded capture. Uh, then that is the 2A scenario. 
completed. So next, uh, between the next video and this one, I will do the interlude 2 and uh, resolve that and uh, upgrade the decks. And we will actually continue playing skits in the dark side of the moon scenario next time. So look forward to that. And I think that this game went pretty well, but could have had one more action. We could have actually revealed this, get a one victory point and we would have recovered one more sign of the gods. And if I would have remembered, I would have moved here and do the investigation here instead of the last location we did. But it is what it is. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.